Today we're exposing commercials to show you how you've been lied to your whole life. All right, this is how they make ice cream in every movie you've watched because you obviously don't want it to melt. So, oh, it's mashed potatoes with food coloring. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this would be delicious if you didn't just top it off with, with whatever you just put in it. That's not good. Crunch cereal, hair conditioner. All right, well, the first one was at least somewhat edible as a creative Thanksgiving meal, but this one just ain't gonna be something you're gonna eat. What, what are you gonna, you didn't tell me this is a fake cake? Why? Shaving foam, soap foam. You're putting soap foam in your coffee? Why not just use real coffee? I feel like it's, it, it's, it's more difficult to get soap foam, especially for me, because I never use soap. Oh yes, put a little wood stain on the outside of your burger and then a little bit of cheese. Imagine if this is your job, to be a painter of food. Ketchup syringe, I mean, that's actually an innovative idea in terms of like burger topping. Oh, wow, 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 nice dude. It honestly doesn't even look that good though. Like as far as burgers go, like I wouldn't eat that. It'd be too big for my mouth, I couldn't fit it. McDonald's is lying to you. This is how their fries look in reality. Instead, use a sponge. That is genius. And which one would I buy? I would buy whatever they give me because McDonald's fries are the greatest. I don't care how they look. I'm going to eat them all anyway. Testing if it's really true they use PVA glue in cereal commercial. It's got to be true. To that, we're going to add some glue. Oh, that this guy's got to be from the Netherlands, dude. We're going to add the cereal. Oh, it looks so good. I mean, now that I know it's glue, like I can definitely tell it's glue and it actually looks kind of disgusting to me. Like I don't want glue cereal. I want milk cereal. How about this? Melt off the outside of your apple and it turns green. What? Dude, this is weird. Is this going to be a pancake? Egg, little yogurt pancake, an egg. That, that that just a real egg looks better, and it's not even hard to use at that point. That doesn't even make sense to me. Motor oil. What is that even necessary to do? Like, doesn't syrup just look like syrup? Why would you have to use motor oil? Some marbles. Oh, because I, well, why? Oh, this makes it more appetizing. It's gonna that. make it kind of sit at the top. All the chunks won't sink through, but it still has that natural little soupy flair because the marbles are different heights. This is legit because this is the one of the first ones we don't really see motor oil and like freaking mayonnaise. You know, just weird stuff. This is what they do to people okay. for the commercials. Oh, that's a floppy pizza, bro. You just bought a bad pizza in general. That does not look good. That's not bad. Now I watched A Good Mythical Morning about the best cheese pull and it's mozzarella. So they could just use mozzarella cheese. I think that will work just as well. Bro's doing this in a McDonald's. Like he has no shame. He's actually at McDonald's trying to make his Big Macs look good. And that, that does look really good. Look at that. Oh, a fake biter? Dude, I know earlier I said something about my mouth not being big enough, but like you put that in front of me, I will take that perfect bite. That's not even perfect. Look how much bigger the bottom is. That's a terrible bite. This looks like fairy cake. I know what that is, New Zealanders, Australians. I don't know which, I think it's New Zealand. I'm pretty sure, but I might be wrong. I think New Zealand Zealand does fairy cake. Fairy bread, fairy bread, fairy bread, that's what it is. This is the trick to getting the perfect squeeze. Are you injecting that? Oh, that's too good of a squeeze. It's so good, it's gonna ruin your $600,000 camera. And all, what are you advertising? Freaking broccoli, bro? Nobody sees broccoli on TV and goes, oh, I can't wait to go get some broccoli. Like, you shouldn't be advertising that. You know, personally, I don't like that. Ain't no way. Wow, this one's kind of good. You could definitely do this, especially like if you put something really cheap there in it that you could eat, you could do this at your restaurant and make them look 10 times bigger, but really it's just like a piece of celery or something back there. Like that's a good idea. Oh, steamed buns, but it's fake steam. It's a fog machine. This is the first one I've seen that I thought like, I was like, I would eat that. I would not eat this. Bro, they got eyeballs in them still. What the crap? Okay, that doesn't look real either. They're already like fully grown. Some of these are horrible. If my orange does that, I'm calling the doctor. This would hurt really bad to be stabbed with. Just a little fun fact for you. That's so smart. You know what would be even crazier? This is such a weird idea. What if you just actually cooked it on a grill? What if you did that? Wouldn't that be the craziest thing? Like, it's almost like that would take the exact same amount of time as cooking it regularly and they'd be real. That's so crazy. Oh, little soy sauce. And, and what was that that you put in there? A curling iron? Curling irons are big. These don't have to be hot dogs that are made of like freaking buffalo. Like these gotta be like this thick. This, that, that was made for giants. Are you gonna tell me this is sprinkles? Uh, it's not bad. This one is actually decent. All right, if you just, uh, but then again, you couldn't you just like buy that type of cheese? You know what I mean? Like, isn't there like just a type of cheese that already has holes? Can you just go get that? How are you doing? What? It does look like marker. Well, that one has a bite out of it. No wonder it looks bad. Foam chicken. It looks fake. It does look fake. That looks better to me, the second one. I'm a coffee aficionado, so I'll tell you guys right now which one I would drink. Looking at this, it's very similar to soy sauce, I would say. I guess I don't know coffee as well as I thought, because I would think that looks better. I just spilled coffee all over myself, guys. This is embarrassing. That is interesting that it does look like ice. Ah. I know that these are meant for commercials, but all I can say is nothing gets me hungry like seeing shrimp eyeballs on a baby diaper filling. This is cool. Oh, what are you advertising that you need giant smoke blasts and fruit that fall in? Bro's just straight up advertising fruit. That's his whole commercial. He's like, get oranges. Don't care where you get them, just eat your fruit. Ever wonder how many takes we need to shoot yeah, until we get the right shot? Yes. As many as it takes. In this instance, oh. it took three. This was the 
the not good. Day. Not good. This is how people eat in commercials. Wow. Look at that guy on the right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Look at the guy on the right and look at his tongue. It's like wavering. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Why does it do that? Whoa, that's so weird. Shoot a Twix commercial. Oh, I'm David, I'm a director, and for this shoot, we used engineering and robotics. Versus this is the big money commercials. Liquid chocolate is one that's of the crazy. most difficult foods to shoot because it's volatile and tough to maintain at the right time for consistency. Wow. That's a, that's a, I mean, yeah. This is expensive, right? We got this, then we got those people that come out and paint it. How are you going to do this when we got those stupid fake straw? Oh, wait a minute. This looks like George Washington hair if you put it all on you together. Noodles? It's made of felt. I, that one I'm gonna go ahead and give a thumbs down to. I would I would definitely see that and say, why is my noodle furry? Ever wonder why bacon is always nice and curly in photography? This no is how way. food stylists make bacon. This we is creative. Oil and layer the bacon over I'll bet the it tastes better. to create curly ridges. Ooh. Then I wanna do this. Place the whole sheet tray in the oven. Okay. And let it bake until crispy. But how long, that's the problem. You didn't tell me how long to bake it for and that's the issue because every time I bake it, it's still not crunchy. I don't know how long to put it in there. So for this secret commercial, I decided to repurpose some towels that I already had up on my wall to create a bathroom set. I painted everything blue to match the packaging of the aluminum free deodorant. Wait, this is deodorant? And for this video, I had to film my armpits, which made me feel very vulnerable, but was also very necessary for a deodorant commercial. That would be Plus weird. Side, the deodorant eliminates odor instead of masking it, so I did smell like a delicious coconut after this. You know they have hand models out there, but I never heard of an armpit model. Here's the final result. Let me know what you think. I mean... It's not, it's, it, I don't know. This is just basically a real commercial we're all watching right now, but now I'm curious to see the result. I got to see how the sink looks. Look at that armpit. Guys that are into armpits right now are just popping off watching that. They think it's the greatest thing ever. That was a weird thing to say, but um, this is this an Arby's commercial? Because that did not look great. Oh, wait a minute. This one, I don't know. This one like hit me in a spiritual way for some reason. Like I saw that and I was like, dang, that is so much better on a burger, dude. And a little bit of barbecue sauce and a little bit of crunchy onion. I got this specific thing in my mind. I'm salivating, bro. I can't. All right. So we've got a talented artist here. Let's see what you're capable of doing. I also am a bagel expert. I love bagels. I love putting a little salmon on them, a little cream cheese, a little lettuce, eating in the morning. It is a, it is the great, greatest thing I'll ever eat. Smoked salmon, bagel. Wow, you got a little talent here. Now, I will say, I do look my bagel a little darker than this. This looks a little, ooh, that looks a little sus. Some cream cheese, okay, okay. Now that's interesting. Not a combo I would have thought to get, but I'll say it could work because I know that peanut butter, jelly, and butter works. If you haven't tried it, try that too. How the food industry fakes their ads. Wow, that's crazy because I know this is chicken, but I'm also thinking this would happen to human flesh. It was still raw. So I get it, like it looks good, but like, can't you just like go out and hire a chef and it should be like, yo, can you cook this and make it look good? Now nah, that looks better, I guess. I don't know. Some of these are just weird to me. It's like, I've made chicken that looks good. I have zero guesses what, this is gonna be a drink? There's, nah, nah, that ain't gonna do it. This looks better. Is this the fake one? This Is this the, wait, this is the one that you just made with slime? It actually looks good? Not in a million years would I have thought that actually pulled off somehow, it did. We actually do use tampons for food styling in TV commercials. And I'm wait, whoa, what, huh? Take the tampon and drop no, it wait, in some boiling big? hot water. That's huge. Now you can place this tampon inside a coffee cup Ew. or a bowl of steaming vegetables, anything where you need. Wait, you're saying you put a tampon for steam? That's crazy, dude. If you ever see steam coming out of your girlfriend, you know why. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Click here. I'll see you there. Peace.